Peace and black power, family. Peace and black power. It's the Prince of Pan-Africanism, King Kong Consciousness, Intercontinental Ifa Tunde. Coming to you live and direct, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, Marcus Garvey Elementary School. Today is the first day of the second annual Revolutionary Pan-African Nationalist Fast. We fast to recommit ourselves to the supreme creator of this universe. We fast to realign ourselves with our destiny. We fast to intensify the relationship and communication portal between ourselves and the ancestors. And of course, we fast for the ultimate and total liberation of all African people around the world. Today is the day that the greatest black leader of the 20th century the greatest Pan-Africanist of all time, the greatest black organizer of all time, the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, joined the ancestors. June 10, 1940. So that would have been 79 years ago. 79 long years ago. And in Garvey's absence, we've had some great Pan-Africanists. Here in the States, we've had Stokely Carmichael, El Hajj Malik El Shabazz. On the continent, we've had most of our great Pan-Africanists post-Garvey. Osajifo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the Honorable Patrice Lumumba, Julius Nyeri, Robert Sabukwe, so many others. But 89 years, 79 years ago. And one of the things we want to do here at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy campus is we want to revive Garveyism to a whole nother level. At this school, the philosophy and opinions of the Honorable Marcus Garvey will be taught as a class, as will the philosophy and opinions of the Honorable Frederick Douglass will also be taught as a class. So brothers and sisters, these next 21 days, we want to really search our souls. We want to pray, fast, read, study, meditate. Energy is going to be on low. I'm going to be in Detroit speaking on an empty stomach. I'm going to be in Atlanta speaking on an empty stomach. I'm going to be in Hartford, Connecticut speaking on an empty stomach. I'm going to be in Springfield, Massachusetts. Speak it on an empty stomach, but I can do this. Last fast, I didn't speak at all for the 21 days. This fast, I'll be challenged because I'll be speaking. I might got to swallow a smoothie or something, make sure I don't pass out. But you know, I was born with the microphone in my hand. I was born with the microphone in my hand. So we will make it pop off. Miami, Florida, you have just been confirmed. The Prince of Pan-Africanism will be coming back to Miami, Florida. Saturday, July 24th, 2 until 8. Miami is coming. Las Vegas boot camp is about to be booked in a minute. Las Vegas, Nevada boot camp is about to be booked in a minute. I got a lot of positive reviews with my interview that I did with uh, Brother Kalen, Kalen K.R. Walker. So I think I'm gonna start doing Therapy Thursdays. I think I'm gonna start doing Therapy Thursdays, life coaching, conversations, different brothers and sisters, different issues from their life. It seems like a lot of people got a lot out of that conversation with Brother Kalen. So I think it's time for me to start having a regular. I think it's time for me to start having a regular life coaching conversation by way of the live. We're going to work on that. We're about to spend a lot of money in one day, brothers and sisters. We're going to drop about a hundred grand in one day. Because we got to pay for the HVAC unit for the Garvey school. That's 50 grand. And then we got to put down a $50,000 down payment for the Newcastle County 
property taxes. So I need y'all to hit that cash app. We about to spend a hundred thousand dollars in one day. Fifty grand for the HVAC unit. Fifty grand down payment for the Newcastle County property tax bill. Hit your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit your PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Got a lot of donation checks. I'm going to be depositing this weekend. Don't cancel no donation checks. Do not call the bank and stop payment on any of the donation checks. They're going to be deposited this weekend, brothers and sisters. We working. We working. We working. We getting it done. We getting it done. Okay. What else we got? Unapologetically African Festival. Let me say this about the Unapologetically African Festival in case some of you have what I need. Let me say this about the Unapologetically African Festival. I need a stage and a sound system. It must be excellent. It must be top notch. The microphone must be crystal clear. Must have the ability to play CDs, Wi-Fi, USB, whatever the case may be. So if there's any brothers out there, I want to keep the money in the community. I want to keep the money in the community. I want to keep the money in the community. Why do I always need something? Because I'm building, sister. Something you're not doing. I'm building for the people. That's why you can't. That's why I'm always needing. Because when you build a nation, you always need stuff. You don't understand that because black people don't build anything for ourselves. Not for the community. You might open up a hair salon. You might open up a restaurant. But you ain't building no hospitals, no schools, no banks, no supermarkets. We're not used to that. We're still operating on slave consciousness. That's why we're fasting right now. Why he always needs something. Because I'm building an empire for the race. I'm building a new reality for African children. That's why I always need something. You don't understand it because we're not used to building institutions for ourselves. Most black institutions are really white institutions that appear to be black institutions. I said most black institutions are really white institutions that appear to be black institutions. That's why you cannot understand me. You cannot understand me and you cannot overstand me. That's why you can't understand me. You can't understand me and you can't overstand me. I'm a nation builder. Most of you don't build anything but a new YouTube page, a new Facebook account. I'm in J Nation, do you have it? The infamous Umar Johnson, with a sister in his comments, asked him, "Why do you always need? Why do you always need something, y'all?" Sister, that is a great question, y'all. That is a great question. EJ Nation, y'all let me know what y'all think about this clip in the comments below. As always, shout out to E EJ Nation. We love you. We appreciate your viewership. On your way out of this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Once again, this is just your boy Jay throwing some cheese in that hole. And bye, bitch.